We've shared a lot of big announcements in the past on our channel. We are moving to Puerto Rico. Guys, that definitely says pregnant. That's a big deal, guys. That's a baby. It's <laughs> dad. I have a bit of an announcement. Disney World! What? Hey, we're gonna find out if it's a brother or sister. <laughs> We have a huge announcement. I can't believe it! <laughs> we have had four beautiful babies in our family, and we are going to have another, another baby. <laughs> we are having another baby. It is official. We got a dog. <laughs> We're gonna share another big one today. We are going on a one-year trip around the world. We leave on the trip in June, and so for this next month or two, we're doing all the final prep work. Uh, the countdown is on. There is so much to do before then. Our intention and our plan, what's on the paper, is a 12-month trip around the world, hitting six continents. We're skipping Antarctica. For the most part, we're gonna be staying in a different country each month during the trip. We're not trying to cross as many countries as we can off the list. We're not trying to see all the landmarks and take all the pictures. What we want to do is we want to meet people experience culture, see the beauty of these different places all around the world. We really want to help our children and our whole family fall in love with the world and appreciate the uniqueness of each part of it. We know many of you live all over the world or have visited fun places. Let us know in the comments where you think we should visit and why. So this is something that I've always wanted to do. Both Jeremy and I had the experience of traveling outside of the USA when we were teenagers and it really opened our eyes and shifted our perspective. So we wanted that for our kids too. One of the things I'm most excited for is I'm trying to get better at soccer because I know that's a very popular sport around the world and maybe I'll try cricket. So I really love sports. I'm excited to try to experience the sports in different places. Jenny, what are you most excited about? Safari. You wanna go on a safari? Since I love cooking, I want to know what it's like, like what different seasonings, what different techniques they use around the world. And I think it's gonna be very fun and educational. What are some of the places you're hoping we visit? London and Japan and Sweden. I'd love to visit Thailand. Probably Italy and Australia, Kuala Lumpur, like if we're going to Malaysia. The Philippines, I'm really excited for there because I also studied, I did a whole presentation on the Philippines and their food was so interesting. What's something that makes you nervous about the trip? I'm nervous about not seeing my friends for a year. I'm gonna miss my friends. There's gonna be pretty long flights. I'm pretty much always nervous the flight will. <whistles> Whoa, that's dark. Yeah. I think it's really normal to feel nervous about flights. I believe we will be safe. Yeah. Statistically, how do you think this trip is gonna change you as a person? I think it's gonna be really eye-opening to just realize that there's a lot of other people living in this world. And I think I'm really excited to see all the different cultures, the different types of art they use around the world. I have no idea how this trip is going to change me. It's interesting, whenever we tell people about this trip, their response is almost always, oh, that's gonna be so good for the kids. I do hope that our kids have that great experience, but it's amazing how just in the last few months of planning this trip, I feel like I have learned so much. I think what will change me the most on this trip is the stuff that we don't have planned. The unexpected things, the challenges, and the unexpected blessings, the people. The people, we are leaving right now and we don't know who the people are that we are going to be able to meet and interact with, who we're going to learn and and just grow so much from. It'll make it so I have a better perspective of the world and maybe I might want to move there when I get older, like somewhere random around the world. A lot of places around the world that we're gonna be going, all I know about them is like stereotypes from movies or something, and I'll get to see the real deal. I'll be used to like not having as much stuff. I'll be used to people 
talking different languages. When Jeremy and I first started vlogging, we actually started the very first week of homeschool. We had just decided to homeschool and this felt like such a big adventure. We didn't know how long we were gonna do it and so we decided to film every day, daily vlogging while we were on that adventure so we could have all those memories. And then here we are, this many years later, homeschooling's part of our world and we're so grateful for all of these memories. So as we look forward to this trip, we feel the same way. We want to document this experience. We want to soak it up as a family and learn from it and share it with all of you. So lots more to come. We obviously don't know what's gonna happen, so we do have plans to be gone for this whole year, but we're open at any time to make changes. We're gonna do whatever's best for our family, even if that means cutting our trip short. If you do have questions about our trip, make sure to leave them in the comments. We may be doing a Q&A video coming up to answer a bunch of those questions. So we're practicing packing and Elise is my victim. All right, so here's what Elise has got for a whole year of travel. So here's the question. Can it all fit in this bag? I actually think it will. It actually fit pretty well. It did. Okay, so there's even an iPad sleeve. And you could also fit a laptop. You could also put a notebook there. How heavy is it? How's it feel? Good. Doesn't feel that heavy. Let's go weigh it. Let's see what we got. This has all my stuff in right here. <laughs> so guess the weight. 22 pounds. 22. What is it, Lisey? Under 20. It's yes. 19 pounds. Oh, 19 that's pounds. That's a game changer. And she even snuck a few extra shirts in there. Ooh. Yeah, this might be a bit much for you. Is that so heavy? Why do you want to wrap <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna make you fall over. <laughs> okay, we will definitely get you a smaller backpack. Janae has been learning more of the piano. You know what else Janae has been doing a lot of lately? Reading. One of the things we've been doing with homeschool this year is having the kids teach some of the lessons. It gives them the chance to be creative. They seem to learn even more, and it's really fun. Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys about Angel Falls, Gamacha Desert, and the Patagonia Desert. Whoa. So they are climbing Angel Falls. What? Really, you have to fly them. The biggest in the world, the sound of the waterfall is like a constant storm. I need to do that. You wanna go climb? Yeah. Angel Falls? Oh yeah. This horseshoe-shaped chain of hundreds of tumbling waterfalls. It's funny, it's the hottest desert in the world, but it's in Chile, and its name is Chile, but it's the hottest desert in the world. Um, it's chilly there. <laughs> it's part of the Argentinian and Chilean territory. The, one, the falls was the biggest, bigger than uh, Niagara Falls. Thank you, Elise. Woo! All right, Isaac, what are you gonna teach us about? Okay, everyone come on, get the golf cart. Golf cart? Yeah! To the golf cart. Okay, everyone, we are gonna be going on an Andes Mountain Fact treasure hunt. What? What? Yay! Yay! Right, who's ready for the first clue? Peepy um, little girl near the bridge. Uh, yeah, we know where that is. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Okay, the creepy little girl's reading something. Here's our next clue. The Andes Mountains cross seven different countries. Whoa! The next clue is a straight line is is always yeah. the path, but not necessarily the most beautiful one. It's right there. Caleb found the next fact. The longest fact. mountain range in the world and the second highest to the Himalayas. Okay, so they are the longest mountain range in the whole world. Tomatoes. Potatoes and tomatoes originated in the Andes. <laughs> this is the last one. Most Andean peaks are volcanic. Whoa. Most Andean peaks are volcanic peaks. That's Whoa. so cool. We're not done yet. Each, what? Everyone has an individual one to find. So Isaac has given individualized hints to each of the kids to find their clue. Right. What was your clue? Uh, I really like the song Sunflower. Sunflower. I can play sports, but it's not too big. 
But the court's not too big. Is it this? You found it. Okay, I found it. Okay. Who's under here? The Andes is the source of the Amazon River. What? It has a lot of snow, so that's why the Amazon has all that water. At least. Uh, the Andes have the largest gold mine in the world. It has the world's second highest plateau. Wow. The kids have been loving creating Kahoot quizzes. It's a fun way to practice what we learn. The Andes have the world's highest plateau. It is. Oh, what? Oh, the second highest plateau. That was one of the ones. I need to play in mine. Are you teaching tomorrow? Yeah, and I need to surpass Isaac. Or just have fun and learning. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously one of the things we really love is hands-on learning and the world trip is gonna provide a ton of that. What did you guys think of when we interviewed people about Asia? Ooh, it was that so much fun. fun. That was a school so assignment. Yeah. They all had people in the neighborhood that were from different parts of Asia mm -hmm. and you went and interviewed them. Which country did you learn about? Japan. I did China. So yeah, so we have a friend who is from China mm -hmm. and she told us all about China. Yeah, that was really fun. She also gave us this like Chinese tea. Oh yeah, and candy. That's yeah. sweet of bread. bread at home for us to have. And then what country did you I did you about? India, and it was so cool. I got to try these cool cashew Ooh. candies. I got to see what clothes they wore. What was, was the really food fun. she gave us? She gave us like their Indian french fry type thing. It was, was super really cool. cool. But Which we learned about the religions Yeah, we got to see their temple. The different languages. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. to do piano lessons, this was the last song I learned before I stopped playing. Really? Yeah. Ecuador. Ecuador, Quito, 72. Right here. Quito. Dominica. Dominica is 50. And the capital is... I forgot. Rousseau? Rousseau? Oh, Rousseau. Or something like that. It's R-O-S-E-A-U. So I wanted to make eggs, so I made eggs and I'm cleaning the pan now. I made eggs for me and Janae, but Janae's finishing mine because I let her. And she really likes the eggs that I make. I love when you want to make your own lunch. You've gotten really good at making eggs. Yeah, but I'm also going to eat some of Elise's grapes. Yeah, Elise has now decided to make crepes for lunch. Why not? And everyone wants some. cream and sugar inside. Really good, but time consuming and yummy. Unfortunately, I won't be eating any of the Swedish pancakes. I am trying again to again. lose weight. I just okay. keep going back and forth where I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, and then I gain it back, and then I lose and- you gain more. Yeah, it's just been going in the wrong direction. So before the world trip, I have a goal to lose something like 30 pounds, which that might be a bit ambitious. 30 pounds? You got it's gotta happen. Still? Uh-huh. I think seven seven. times nine. Oh, 63. Mm -hmm. Eight times three. Eight times three is 24. Elise has been helping Laura with her multiplication and they've added some dances and songs okay. to it. Eight times eight is 64. 64 stickers on the door. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> five times five is 25. Six times six is 36. Dad has 36 clocks to fix. Nine times nine is 81. 81 beats up for my drum. Six times four is 24. 24 rain clouds, 22 pour. Thunder, lightning, boom, bang, crash. Six times four is 24. That's my favorite one. I remember learning these with you. Mm -hmm. And now you're teaching them. To Laura, mm -hmm. that's so fun. More trip prep that's not super exciting is making sure that all the kids are caught up on all their vaccinations and making sure we have any additional vaccines ready. So Caleb just went, he got some vaccines. How was it? Um, good. Not bad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> In our family, after we get vaccines, we get ice cream. 
And I just have to say how proud I am of Caleb. I remember back in the day when he was terrified of shots and terrified of blood draws and with all that he has been through with celiac disease and epilepsy, and he's just doing amazing. He is so tough and such a good sport about it. Is it hard now? You've gotten better at it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Six times three. We just learned this one. Six times three is 18. Yep. Well, I didn't get to enjoy Swedish pancakes, but eggs with avocado and tomato is really good. Sunny. Good night. Do you out? He's looking hard. He's looking. I don't see anything. <laughs> One to one. This is stressing me out. That looks good.